Hello, we're going to talk about your thyroid and vitamin A. Most people consider vitamin A primarily to do with your eyes and improving night vision issues in the immune system, but it also has another function that's related to your thyroid gland. Okay, so let's talk about that. So there's two forms of vitamin A. You have the inactive version, okay, that's like beta carotene. That's in all the vegetable family, carrots, kale, and spinach, uh, things like that, okay. Inactive vitamin A is converted to the active vitamin A. That's called retinol. That's in all the animal products, egg yolks, fish oils, animal products, uh, grass-fed dairy products, butter, things like that, with the help of the thyroid. So we have beta carotene that's converted to retinol with the help of the thyroid. So you need a good, healthy thyroid to make this conversion. And the other point I want to mention is that most hypothyroid cases are vitamin A deficient even if they start consuming lots of beta carotene because they can't convert it. And on the flip side, vitamin A is needed to convert the inactive form of thyroid T4 to the active form T3. So vitamin A is very necessary in the conversions of thyroid hormones. And the thyroid is necessary for the conversion of beta carotene into retinol. So in other words, if you want to help your thyroid, you must start consuming more vitamin A. So you don't just want to get beta carotene from the vegetables. You also want to get the active form of vitamin A. If you have a thyroid problem, that's in the cod liver oil. Make sure you get a high quality one, virgin cod liver oil, fish, grass-fed dairy, egg yolks, all are loaded with the active form of vitamin A, which is called retinol. And one last point, if you have a hyperthyroid, it's just as important to consume vitamin A, these foods here, for that condition as it is for a hypothyroid condition. Thanks for watching.